Amatka and I am interviewing my dad for our, um, a biography we're, that we're doing in school and this is Manuel Amatka and so I'm going to interview him now. So what's your full name? Manuel Amatka is my full name. Um, where were you born? I was born in a little tiny town outside of Tübingen in western Germany. How old were you when you immigrated to the U.S.? Well, I came to visit the first time I was 13, but I actually moved here to go to college when I was 19. Was the trip hard? No, it was fine. It was just it's an easy flight from Germany, except I had lots of luggage with me because I figured I had needed everything I had pretty much. Um, did you stay in the U.S. or did you go back to to your original country after college? So what I did was I actually studied for two years and then decided to take a year off in between. You know, there are four years in college. So I would study for two years and then I went back to Germany for one year and stayed there and worked and then came back here to the United States and then stayed here and did not go back to Germany other than just for quick visits. Um. How old were you when you first came to the U.S. like to live, um, like with a family and stuff? Well, again, I came to visit the first time when I was 13. I came then for an exchange as an exchange student when I was 16 in high school. But then when I was 19, I came to stay here to go to college. Um, where did you stay? Which time? When I moved like, here? Um, for your exchange. For my exchange time, I stayed in upstate New York in a place you know, in Harlemville, where the farm is that you have visited also. And I stayed with the family and lived there for six months, almost, five months, and uh, really learned a lot about living in America and really liked it. So um, when you came, did you like know anybody before you came to the U.S.? Yes, I did. I had a mm -hmm. special benefit, which was that my grandfather and my grandmother lived here, and I have quite a few other relatives all over the country. I have an uncle in California and his family. I have some more distant uh, relatives in Vermont and um, all over. So when I came as a student to go to college, I actually went to school very close to where my grandparents lived. Um, so did you normally stick around where... Um you were for the exchange, like, or what kind of transportations did you use? For what? For, like, getting around the town and stuff. Well, when I was 16, I didn't have my driver's license, although I tried to get it at the time, but didn't. Um, when I was in college, I didn't have a car, so, at least not in the beginning, so I had to t walk and take the trains and bicycle, and then after some time, I did have a car. And so they used to use that. Um, was the food like really different than, different than things you're used to? Somewhat. Um, uh, you've been to Germany, so you know that food over there is somewhat different. The big things that are different is the bread and the cheese, right? And uh, so that was a little bit of an adjustment. I think also here there's a lot more food and a lot more variety. When I grew up, uh, I mean, again, you've seen the stores in Germany, they're small stores, and you have a few things, but to have these huge supermarkets where you could pick out of 60 different forms of cereal, you know, that, that was a little bit overwhelming, all the different choices you can have. Yeah. Um, how is the U.S. different from Germany? Well, that's a big question. Um, I would say, for me, one of the things, people are different, the food is different, the way the cities are made is different, so I'll give you an example. I think in Germany, people are much more reserved up front, they're not as friendly right away as they are here, and I've heard a lot of people say that when you come to America, people are always very, very friendly. And in Germany, it's not quite, it doesn't quite feel like that. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's an example. Um, with the food we've already talked about. The other thing that's very different is that just the way the cities are. They, in Germany, you don't have to have a car to get around, whereas here, you, it's hard to not 
hard, hard to get around if you don't have a car. You can't just rely on buses and trams and things like that. And then the last thing I would say is America is much, much bigger than Germany. Germany is a relatively small country compared to, like it's smaller than the state of Texas. So, um, how did you get along because of your language? Did you speak any English before you came? I had English in school, so I learned a fair bit. Um, my parents spoke English at home, so I heard them speak English. Uh, I had the benefit of coming to the exchange time where I learned a good bit of English because I was in high school for half a year. But I will say that when I came in the beginning and I had to read English and write English papers and things like that, it was very hard. I had to work very, very hard. But after six months, I had it, and I've been fine since. Um. What are five things you enjoy um, better about the U.S. than Germany that you think are better? Oh, the first thing I enjoy is that I have a family here. And that I enjoy <laughs> that a lot. Um, other things I like about America is that people work together in, a, in really interesting and different ways uh, where you can be more who you want to be and that works out and people accept that. I like the fact that the country is very, very beautiful and big. So you can travel like you just saw. We went to California, we went to Utah and other places, and it's very beautiful all over the country there. Um, so I, because I like to travel. Let's see, what else do I like about the country? Maybe that's, that's it for right now. Um, well, thank you for letting me interview you and for taking time out of your schedule to let me tell you do this. And, yeah. Thank you very much for your good questions. It was a pleasure to be interviewed by you.